Hello, kindergartners. It's Mrs. Bellatash. And today, we are going to open the bag. I'm very excited about it. Um, before we do, I want to make sure that you have your science notebook in front of you and that you also have a pencil because we're going to do a little bit of work in our science notebook as well. But first, the bag. Okay, so you can open the bag. You can rip it open if you want to or you can be very careful however you would like to do it. And I want you to be careful about dumping everything out because there's a ball inside and gravity will pull the ball down and it'll roll away. So let's just reach in. There's a ball. Put it on the desk or the table. And there should be an envelope like this. Don't open this yet. We're gonna open it later. There should be a little cup. And the rest of it I'm just gonna dump out. Okay. So I have some of these items. Uh, I have an eyedropper that we're gonna use later. Oops, tipped over. Um, I have some sandpaper that we're gonna use later. I have a few rubber bands that we're gonna use later. And I have a bunch of paper clips, large paper clips. So the only thing that we're going to use today are these things here. So I'm gonna put the ball back in and the cup and the my uh, eyedropper. I'm gonna put all of these little paper clips back in. I'm gonna put the envelope back in and the sandpaper and the rubber bands and I'm gonna put it to the side, okay? Because I want us to turn our attention to these items, okay? Okay, so I want you to take out these five things from your bag, okay? There should be five. They should all be the same size, but they're all a little bit different. So anybody have an idea like what this stuff is? So this is wood, wood. Wood is a material and material is kind of an important idea that it's made out of something. It's made out of matter and it's a material. There are scientists and engineers who do nothing but study materials, how strong materials are, what they're good for uh, like to build out of, all different things. So there are material scientists who study materials. So wood is one kind of material. So what I want us to do is to now kind of compare these wood pieces together. Okay, here are my five samples of wood. So I have five different pieces. And when I want to compare them, well, there are some things that I can tell right away. Can you guys look at your wood pieces and can you describe them? Can you observe them and then tell me something about them? When I look at my wood samples, I see that they're different colors. This one is kind of a tan. This one is whiter. This one kind of looks like oatmeal. This one is brown. And this one is white as well, but look at this one. This one has stripes in it. That's kind of interesting. Okay, let's see, what other things do we see? So we know that they're different colors. I wonder if they all feel the same. This one is kind of smooth. Ooh, this one is a little bumpy. Ooh, this one is really smooth. And this one is bumpy on the side, but smooth on this side. Interesting. Okay. What are some other things that we can look at? I wonder if they all are the same weight. I'm gonna feel how heavy this one is. Oh, I think this one might be a little lighter, a little less heavy. Oh, this one I think is heavier than this one. And I think it's heavier than that one. I'm gonna put this one down here. This is the heaviest. This is the heaviest. Next. I think that's lighter. 
Hmm, I'd have to weigh them to find out which one is lighter. Hmm, all right, so I can compare them by how heavy they are. This one, to me, this one was the heaviest. Hmm, I wanna look really, really closely at this brown one. Hmm, uh, let me take a look at this one. Oh, do you see that there's some stripes in it? But it's definitely not stripey like this one. This one has, and this one has some stripes in it too. Boys and girls, that is called the grain of the wood. When you look really closely at wood, you can see the grain of the wood. All right. Well, we have done a really good job of observing these wood samples very closely. Okay, so boys and girls, we have five different types of wood, and I wanna tell you the names of those different types of wood. So I have one piece of wood that's really lightweight. It's very white, and it's really not very heavy. This wood is called basswood, and it comes from a linden tree. Okay, so this wood comes from that tree. Then I have this wood, and when I smell it, oh, remember I'm observing using my senses. When I smell it, it kind of smells like a pine tree because it comes from a pine tree. And here is a picture of a pine tree, okay? And this red one, this is called redwood and it comes from a redwood tree right there. Now, I have two other pieces of wood. This one is plywood. And boys and girls, there is no such thing as a plywood tree. I'm gonna tell you how they make plywood in a little bit. And this one that kind of looks like oatmeal and is really rough and is heavy, this is called particle board. And there is no particle board tree. I'm gonna show you how they make particle board in a minute. But tr these wood samples come from real trees. Boys and girls, I wanted to take you around our school and show you some of the trees we have at our school. This tree is called a bottle brush tree because the flowers look like a bottle brush. One of the things that's interesting about the bottle brush tree is that when you look at the trunk, you look at the bark, it is really rough. A very interesting bark, very different from some of the other trees that we have at our school. The bark is kind of stringy. Anyway, this is a bottle brush tree. Hello, chickens. Okay, this is a pine tree and it is very, very, very tall. It is such a big tree. It has a lot of branches. And remember how we looked at the bark? on the other tree, this bark is very different from the bottle bush tree. Just like we compared the wood samples, we're comparing trees. So remember when I said that different pieces of wood came from different trees, pine comes from a pine tree, and I said there is no such thing as a plywood tree, well, I want to show you how plywood is actually made. So plywood begins as just a log with all of the branches cut off the log. And then it goes into this big piece of machinery. And as the log is turned around and around, a big sharp knife cuts off a long thin layer of wood, kind of like a paper towel coming off the roll. And then glue is put on the thin sheet of wood 
And then the sheets of wood are stacked on top of each other and they're pressed together to make plywood. Now when you look at that, do you see it? This is one layer of wood. This is another layer of wood. This is another layer of wood. And then they are glued together to make a piece of plywood. And boys and girls, there's no such thing as a particle wood tree that, or a particle board tree. There is no such thing. So this is a piece of particle board. And particle board belong, begins as trees in the forest. When logs are cut into lumber, a whole bunch of sawdust piles underneath the saw. And it's almost like dust. It's called sawdust, and it comes off of that. Sawdust is mixed with resin, which is kind of like a glue. And then the sawdust and the glue mixture is put into a machine that squeezes it into sheets. The sheets are dried, and then the particle board is stacked until they are shipped into a lumber yard. So this is particle board. I think it's awesome because it's a way to reuse and to use up all the parts of the wood. Here is sawdust that would have just been thrown away. And instead of being thrown away, they make particle board out of it. Boys and girls, we're going to read a story called The Story of a Chair. Here is a chair you might sit on in a park. Do you know how it was made? A chair begins as a tree in the forest. A lumberjack cuts the trees in the forest. So there's the little tree. It's a pine tree, right? And it's just starting to grow. And then it's going to grow and grow and grow. And when it's an, an adult tree, then it will be cut down. A truck driver takes the trees to the sawmill. The trees are cut into boards at the sawmill. Hey, boys and girls, do you remember when I talked about particle board and I said that there was sawdust? There is sawdust coming off of that very big, sharp saw. The boards go to the lumber yard. The woodworker buys wood at the lumber yard. I don't know if you've ever been to Home Depot or Lowe's or there are some other places where you can buy wood. When you go into those stores and there's fresh wood, oh, it smells so good. It smells so fresh. The woodworker makes the chair from wood and it's put in the park for you to sit on. There she is, making the chair out of wood. Okay, so boys and girls, now we're gonna write in our science journal. I colored some more of my science journal's cover. That was a lot of fun. And now I'm gonna open it up to the first page. And the first page, the first question says, where does wood come from? Where does wood come from? Hmm. Who could remember where wood comes from? Well, wood comes from a tree. And so I drew a picture of a tree. And I wrote the word tree. T-R-E-E. -E, tree. So I drew a picture and I labeled it that it's a tree. And the second question is, what is made of wood? Well, there are things around the science lab that are made out of wood, but we read a book, we read a story about a chair. So I drew a picture of a chair and I wrote the word chair. So you don't have to write chair. You don't have to draw a picture of a chair. You can draw a picture of something that you know that is made out of wood, okay? So make sure that you put your name at the top of your paper and the date. 
I did that on mine. There's my name and the date. And that may not be the date that you're doing your science notebook. That's the date that I did mine, okay? All right, so I've got my science journal. I wrote in it, I drew a picture of a tree. I drew a picture of a chair. I can't wait to do some more work in my science journal next week.